So this is unit one, lesson 10 for our AP Calculus course. The unit is called Limits and Continuity. The lesson is called Connecting Multiple Representations of Limits. And this is our, our last limits lesson. So what we're going to learn in this lesson, as the title suggests, is um, looking at different representations of functions and, and finding the limits, making connections between those representations as well. So we know five, we've seen five different ways to represent a limit. We've done graphs, we've done kind of verbal written out statements in the first lesson. Of course, we have our limit notation. We've looked at limits using tables or tabular and then analytically, so using piecewise functions. So let's get straight to some examples here. So the graph of F, g of x is shown. Which of the following tables uh, could be the table of values for g? So if we just take a look at our graph for g of x here, we have this curve. We have a hole at x equals 4. There's a uh, 4 is defined. So g of 4 is, goes to 1. Otherwise, we see the limit as x approaches 4 from the left and from the right. The limit approaches 2. So because of this dot, it defines 4 to be 1, or g of 4 to be 1, we can eliminate the first a and b for that reason alone, because 4 should map to 1, not undefined, not 2.16. So 4, 1, so either c or d. Now as we look at the limits, as x approaches 4 from the left, it looks like it's about 2. However, if we look at the tables for C and D, as we approach 4 from the left, they both are a little higher than 2. 2.137 to 2.158 for both tables. So we want to see, does the right, does the limit as X approaches 4 from the right also approach those same values? And we see in table C that we get something that is very close to 2.158 or at least it's a lot closer than 1.844. So for that reason, because the right side is also very close to the left side, um, we see that we have this limit for about just above 2. Not below 2, though, for sure. So C is our best choice for this graph. If f is a function such that a limit as x approaches 1 of f of x does not exist, which of the following could be a representation of f of x? So as x approaches 1, does not exist. So if we look at 2, our definition for does not exist means that the, uh, the limit as x approaches 1 from the left is not the same as the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. So if we look at number 1, number 1 is a table actually. Um, here's our x value of 1. We can see that from the left we approach about 3.14. From the right we also approach about 3.14. So the limit from the left is equal to the limit from the right. And so this one does have a limit. However, we want f of x to have a limit that does not exist. So number one would not be correct for that reason. Uh, the limit does exist for number one. Number two, if we look at the left bound, limit as x approaches one from the left, that would be when x is less than one, we could direct substitute one in for two x plus seven. Well, that would be two plus seven, which is nine. The right bound, as x approaches one from the right, we look at, well, that's when x is greater than one. So we could direct substitute one in for x squared plus eight x minus three. Well, that would be one plus eight minus three, that would be six. So the limit from the left is nine, the limit from the right is six, so the limit as x approaches 1 for this function does not exist. So this would this would work for our, our definition, our condition right here. And if we look at number 3, number 3 does have a discontinuity. The limit um, does not exist at this point. However, this is a little bit of a trick because this is at x equals 2. And the question says the limit as x approaches 1 of infinity, or of f of x. And so as x approaches 1, the limit for this function does exist, because the left side and the right side do equal each other. And so for that reason, number 3 could not represent f of x. 
So our best answer is B, only number two. All right, takeaways. So we need to be able to read and interpret all of the different representations of our functions in order to not only find a limit, but compare different features, uh, left bound, right bound limits, um, define undefined points, um, all of those things.